Welcome, Pewter Report readers and viewers, to another edition of the Internet's most popular show. We're getting two, three million views every week. No, <laughs> not really. But we're working towards that. And we might get that this week because our special guest on What's Cooking, sponsored by Ford's Garage, is not none other than the one, the only, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> it's a Shaq brand of the Bucks, but I can dunk like Shaq. You wouldn't dunk on me. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> That's not Sha Shaquille O'Neal. But, but, but Shaq, they didn't give me a Shaq Barrett jersey, so this is the best I could do. Oh, I love it, though. Is you this on backwards, it. or is that on right? Right. Okay, I mean, you know, right. the younger generation, back in our day, we used to wear it the other way, though. Did you? Yeah. We'd be yeah. stylish. I didn't know that. I, <laughs> all I had was, like, the short shorts and the 33 Larry Bird jersey back in the 80s. That was good style, too, though. You weren't even born yet. I wasn't. This guy's 26 years old. 92. 26 years old and on pace for 26 sacks. I'm gonna call you Sack. We're not even call you Shaq. Can we call I, you Sack? I, I could adopt that now. And I said I wasn't going with it until I got about eight sacks and I got eight now, so. And, and, and so how many do you have now? Tell everybody. 10. You're at 10 right yeah, now. 10. And uh, he's gonna trademark uh, Sack Attack. Sack bear. I want Sack bear. bear. Yeah. All right. Are we gonna trademark? That? I know. I can't. Probably can't do Shack attack. Or... Yeah, that's true. All right. Sack. <laughs> sack. Sack bear. Yeah. So we need to ask this question here. Um, most importantly, do you text John Elway and be like, ha 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 ha, ha or no? Do I? Uh. <laughs> I had people who tell me that, <laughs> like, yeah, I know you should. I, I would love to see his face. Yeah. That's what people but, be saying. But, but it's you not, know what? How it's not people he did, know? Though. How it's not people he did. know? He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. When the Buccaneers signed you as a free agent, I did my research. I was like, okay, you know, it's a situational pass rusher. Didn't get as many opportunities in Denver as he probably would have liked. We'll see what he does here. But we had somebody in the front office tell us, watch out for this guy. So we kept a special eye on you. And man, it didn't take long for you to make an impact. First game against the 49ers, you got one, right? Mm -hmm. Then you came on the scene, Thursday night football. Yeah. Talk about <laughs> that. I mean, were you just like, are you guys going to block me at all? Were you just shocked they kept just leaving you one on one with guys? Yeah, I was shocked. And then I, I was really shocked. Like, it happened, it happened, it happened. Like, y'all not going to switch anything yet? Like, <laughs> I mean, you, you get out there on the free agent market, you're going to have 32 teams. Saying we need to talk uh, to this guy. That, that, that's nice to have that's nice coming to have. from undrafted, where you had three teams calling you at the end of the draft. You know, and I was I was looking at your I was looking at your stuff. So, you know, I got some notes here, and um, you know, looking at my notes oh, here. Oh, it says that Shaq Barrett is the best outside line. But no, I don't see anything. <laughs> what notes? Actually, doesn't. There's no notes. They're all up here. But this is just the prop here. No, but uh, on my notes here that I wrote in invisible ink. You know, you're a guy who, again, started at a small school. You you you, you were born in Maryland, I read. Mm -hmm. You end up playing high school in, in Nebraska. Yep, you go to a small school there, uh, uh, yep. college. They get rid of football completely. Yep. Now, you got to go find another place to play, Colorado State. Did you have a lot of choices, or was it kind of few even at that point? I had a lot of choices after that. It was a lot of D1 AA choices. My uh, choices I was considering was Missouri State, Miami, like University of Miami, like Florida. Not Florida State. No, not Florida State. But uh, but they was like in Colorado State, Missouri State, Colorado right. State. Yep, Miami. That was my ones. I, I was only considering Miami. Right. Miami. I didn't want to go to Miami. But then like the I didn't qualify. Not, the U's not back. I just want to let you know that. Oh, they're, they're no. I mean, it's, back. Yeah, it's, it's the U. It's the <laughs> tradition. Yeah. I give them that. Five rings. Yeah. But uh, after like. After let that fell through, I uh, just decided back and forth. I committed to Missouri State, committed to Colorado State, because it committed to Missouri right. State, because they had to Colorado State, ended up going to Colorado State. This is a cooking show, obviously, as you can tell with my chef's hat. Do you know why this show's called What's Cooking? Uh, you're trying to find out. I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. Because my last name's Cook. Well, Cook, yes. Did you even know that? I did. Do you even know who I am? I mean, uh, you see me around, but it's not like we hang I out Honestly, I honestly... Just thought you saw me for the saw first time yesterday. Saw your name on your desk oh. when we just walked in. So I knew your name was Cook. A lot of respect inside that locker room. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, look, he's a new guy, yeah. right? <laughs> You're cooking a dinner for Todd Bowles. 
So you've really got to impress Coach Bowles. Uh, if I'm cooking a dinner for anybody, I'm going to cook the same thing. I'm going to make fried chicken, mm. some greens. It's mm. I don't know if I'm going to be potato salad. I like take a little bit. I don't like boiling the potatoes and eggs. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, probably, I'd do potato if salad. You've though. Got, if you've I could got got fried some, chicken and collard greens. And yams. We yeah. gotta have some macaroni and cheese in there. I ain't no mac and cheese fan. Mashed potatoes and gravy? Oh, yeah, I like rice it. and gravy? I used to love mashed potatoes and gravy as a kid, too. That's why we'll add that to your kid list. And then. rice and gravy. Now, now again, you you, you you were born in Maryland. Were you raised in Maryland? Mm -hmm. My whole family in Maryland. How do you learn how to cook collard greens in Maryland? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a southern thing. Oh, everybody know how to cook greens. <laughs> I thought it was normal. It's like everybody know. in Baltimore. You go, to to cook greens. you go to California, I don't think they know how to cook greens. <laughs> well, do they know how to cook greens in Denver? Do you ever find a good restaurant that can cook greens? No. Could you even buy them in the grocery store in Denver? <laughs> Ford's, <laughs> Ford's Garage, we're going to have dinner there. Multiple locations throughout the Central Florida area. They sponsor this show. Ford's, and I'm going to get you a gift card so you can, so you can go. But um, Ford's Garage, you're gonna, you can bring three people back from time, from the past. Historical figures, musical, uh, anybody that you can have dinner with. One dinner with three people. Who is Sack the Shaq Berry going to have dinner with? Who are we bringing back? Three people, anybody. Anybody. Just, just don't bring it sad. Like, Tanner Hudson's like, my grandpa that passed away. And then it kind oh, of brought no. the whole show down. I wasn't so. thinking about it. Right. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll probably bring, bring back... Uh... Probably two. I think Tupac. I bring because I think Tupac was way before his time. I yeah. went back and listened to some of his music. Yeah. Like he was putting out music before you were born. Yeah, In fact, yeah. I think he was shot like the same year you were born. Uh, no, no, he's shot like wasn't he like 97, 97? Mm -hmm. or nine, nine? ninety nine ninety? Well, yeah, it was. You're right. You're right. Was, yeah, I guess you were born what in ninety two. You were born in ninety two. So Tupac was twenty one. I was twenty two years old yeah. when I was born. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was a drinking <laughs> age, Jack. <shack. laughs> So right. Tupac, Tupac. Uh, I, I probably would bring Biggie back too, so I could talk to Biggie and see what happened with all this and like get down to that, yeah. and get the answers, yeah, get, yeah, get see what happened with that, right? Smart and then uh, last person, I gotta bring uh, like a Martin Luther King, Malcolm X type person. Which one? Before. You gotta pick one of the two, and I've read do, about uh, both of them. I do Martin. Luther. Hmm. I'll do Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. He's been a popular one on this show as well. And, it's just, uh, uh, yeah, I just want to know how he was thinking back then because he still was before his time, too. Like, Absolutely. Not before his time. His time. It should have been. We should have been there already, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But I just like all the people who stepped out and did something. Like, there were trendsetters. Profound. Trendsetters. Yeah. yeah, 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 I, agree. yeah. I agree. Like me in the show. Yeah, see? In my dress. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, that is our good friend and guest, Shaq Barrett, the NFL sack leader. We will be back next week with another edition of the wildly popular, brought to you by Ford's Garage, the one, the only, What's Cooking?